What's up guys? We are doing what we do at the gym again. Uh, today we're gonna get a little bit of squats in. I'm gonna loosen my old man hips up with this cute little booty band. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know, maybe we'll get naked. If I was writing it down, um, I would say go in and hit a squat that you're comfortable with, a weight that's you know 70 percentile, and get a good four sets in, uh, two to two to five reps each set, and then what you really want to do is hit your accessories and then finish strong with a leg press. I can't overstate the importance of leg press. It teaches you how to squat, deadlift, and how to car deadlift. It makes you better with everything. And that may sound silly, coming from a strong man, but that actually was taken from some mentally challenged guy I know named Edward Hall. And uh, he deadlifted one time, a long time ago. He was okay. Not anymore, now he's just fat and disgusting. But leg press. <laughs> coming down and you're, you're even rolling in. I gotta bring my feet in. Yeah, I've never seen you do that before. You feel tight today or is it just a little weirdness? I don't know, I'm trying to get comfortable. That's what happens, he fights midgets on the sides, so he stays up really late till like two or three in the morning, beating the living fuck out of midgets. And then he comes in here and works his ass off. That's what it takes to be a champion. You gotta punch a midget in the face and then squat. Normal, it's better than the other one. It's almost normal. What's your feel What's your feel Because you normally, you're like... Like that. Yeah. And now, you're like that. I need to my toe, that's why. Oh. Maybe just like split it all, like even further all the heel and the toe. Yeah. So you're still partially out, but you're even further out. Yeah. He's got really good form. He's got control. He's steady. He's, I mean, normally I go to him for form checks because he's really like militant about each little piece. And uh, I think, I think honestly, he's just a little stiff and he said his knee's been hurting. So he's like sipping his toes a little bit too much like that. And when you squat, when you squat, you want your knees to go towards your toes. And he's so efficient at how he squats, he, he puts his toes almost straight. For a, for a big guy like me, I go wider and I go here. But when I squat, my knees, see my knees are already pointed towards my toes. That's just natural, because I have a wide open uh, gait. I, I was born to be a whore, basically. And so, because of that, my knees automatically go out. He's not built that way, he's, he's more compact. So, as long as your toes are going, or your knees are going towards your toes, you're in a good position. You just don't want to lose that. You don't, want to, you don't ever want your knee to be in a different direction than your toes, because that's how you end up getting hurt. So we're trying to break down, like it, it's really helpful for somebody to see themselves when uh, 
they need to correct a little something. If you see yourself do something, then it's much better than someone telling you. So, it's definitely Elmore. So, yeah, I can see it, yeah. And when you see it, then all of a sudden it connects all those little pieces in your mind that actually make it real. You're like, oh, I am choosing to do that. I can fix that. Yeah. Rather than someone saying, hey, you're doing that. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't work as well. So yeah. as soon as you see it, like, on camera, and that's what they always say, the film never lies. So it's important to catch it. We're going for a world record. Jim weighs 47 pounds, which is 22 kilos. And we are going to squat 7,000 pounds. Watch this shit. Oh. Alright, so we've got this cool piece of equipment here that's kind of a calf extension and a leg press at the same time. It's a vertical press, so it kind of hits both. You see the way that it's forcing his toes back? Uh, it's Perfect, perfect for working. It's a crossover with leg press and uh, calf extension. So right now we're using this. Sometimes we use normal leg press. I'd say most of the time do normal leg press and then extend with your calves. You just want to be able to feel heavy weight. You know, everyone can leg press a lot and all the, the gym bros like to brag about how many thousands of pounds they can do. That's good. You should do that and you should try and keep good form to where you're actually using your, your legs and your low back stays against the chair. Then. The other thing is, is when you're leg pressing, you gotta realize, if you're bringing your knees all the way to your chest, you are doing it wrong. A leg extension knee is supposed to just barely come, like almost your abdomen, depending on how big it is. You never want your low back to separate from the chair. And that's how you learn to, to, to transfer leg press into squat and deadlift. All right guys, so we were in a, a rush today. We had to get it done. You guys all understand that. We got lives, we got work. So if you're on a, a leg day, Busy and you gotta get in and get it done, you got stuff to do. You don't wanna miss your squats and you don't wanna miss your leg press. Also, we got in hyper extensions. Those are the most important things. Squat and leg press being at the tippy tippy top. Make sure you get those in and at least you're getting a good day.